गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी रिवाइज द चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स द थ्री ऑर्डर्स ओके सब्जेक्ट हिस्ट्री सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिस्क्राइब द कॉजिस लेड टू द डेक्लाइन ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म स्टूडेंट्स फ्यूडलिज्म फ्लॉरिस्ट इन यूरोप फ्रॉम द एट टू द ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरी and it however began to decline in the 15th century the following causes led to its downfall first one is rise of the powerful kingdoms powerful monarchies rose in france spain and england etc in the 15th century the rise of the powerful monarchies led to the decline of feudalism they like tudor monarchs devised various methods to crush the power to of the feudal lords okay next one is destruction of the feudal lords in different wars many nobles died in mutual and constant warfare crusades 100 years wars war of roses etc those who survived were so much improficient that they had no power and means to face the strong monarchs third one is rise of nationalism the rapid spread of education aroused the spirit of nationalism the feudal lords were selfish to the core and deadly opposed to nationalism as a result the educated people turned against feudalism and could not tolerate its existence now they side with the ruler and not with the lords as a result rulers like elizabeth became all powerful despotic and took part in the party picnic etc next in rise of the middle class new invention encouraged trade and industry this led to the rise of the middle class in towns and cities the middle class desired peace for the promotion of commerce industry and crafts they wanted to patriot of the nobles who were always engaged in constant wars okay next one is next is by the beginning of the 14th century the economic expansion of europe slowed down what were the reasons behind it so europe's economic expansion slowed down by the early 14th century because of the following factors first is changes in climatic conditions changes in climatic conditions by the end of the 13th century the warm of the previous 300 years of northern europe had been replaced by the bitterly cold summers seasons for growing crops were reduced at least by a month on higher altitudes it became almost impossible to grow crops many agricultural farms were destroyed by storms and oceanic flooding as a result government's income in taxes was reduced second one is intensive plague the favorable climate before the 13th century had converted many forest and pastures into agriculture land but the soil was exhausted with intensive agriculture despite the practice of the three field rotation of crops it happened because of lack of proper soil conservation number of cattle was also reduced due to short of pastures next third one is shortage of metal money output from silver mines in australia serbia was reduced which resulted in the severe shortage of metal money and consequently trade was hit this shortage of silver forced the government to reduce the silver content of the currency and the government started 
to mix cheaper metals in the silver to make coins okay next one is bubonic plague infection trade extended expanded in the 13th and 14th century ships carrying goods from far, far off countries started arriving in european parts rats came along with the ships these rats were carrying deadly bubonic plague infection as a result western europe was greatly affected by this infection between 1347 and 1350 and the epidemic killed 20% of the people of the whole of the europe at some places number of the dead was as much as 40% of the population cities were hardest hit the plague affected infants and the young and the elderly many other men, minor episodes of the plague also took place in the 36s and the 30 3070s as a result the population of europe reduced to 45 million in 1400 ce from 73 million in 1300 ce okay okay students thank you so much have a nice day